Today I'm starting, or we're starting our journey out to Missouri to pick up the bus. We um, up bright and early. We got a 9:45 plane to catch, but the airport's over an hour away, so we got to get moving. Without further ado, it's Tuesday, January the second. Today we are headed to Springfield, Missouri, to pick up the new bus. All right, the Uber is here. Thank you, sir. Have a good day. We have made it to Orlando Sanford International. Pretty, pretty painless trip, a little over an hour. Uber driver hit a little bit of traffic, but not too bad. We still got plenty of time. It's only about 745, but we got two hours, so we have to depart. But having a service dog, you know, good to get here a little early. This is actually a much larger airport than I was anticipating it would be. MCO is the large one here in the Orlando area, so wasn't, wasn't sure what to expect, but so far so good. Well, that was a bit more of a debacle than I think we were planning. Um, so apparently you have to have your dog pre-approved by this particular airline. 48 hours in advance, but luckily we were, Jen was able to have some strings pulled and I think we got it taken care of. You know what the key is, just being nice and calm. Yeah, help. the crying and the being calm and nice. Yeah, I think that's always a good, uh, a good method to use. But anyway, we got to get to the gate because we, that definitely put us behind a little bit, but we'll be okay. All right, I finally made it to the gate. I'll tell you, I'll give you the whole spiel when we get to where we're going. They are. You look, you look amazing. You look so thrilled. <laughs> oh, the Vivi. Vivi, did we're you fine. miss Daddy, Vivi? Did you miss the Daddy? He they looks. were so sweet on that flight. Like, the flight attendants were amazing. Walking out of the airport here in Springfield, they got a replica of the Spirit of St. Louis, 2003. That's pretty sweet. Did you do a good boy today, boy? Did you tell my buddy do good? I know he did so good. All right, Vivi, go. We made it to our bus. All that journey, we have finally made it. It is freaking cold here. It's like 45 degrees out, absolutely freezing, but we made it. Now we're just gonna keep our fingers crossed that it fires up and everything is good to go. Everything is on the up and up. <laughs> First, I'm gonna check the oil real quick. I'm pretty sure it'll be good though, hopefully. So when I last saw this thing, that was back in, uh, when was that? That was back in, was that September? Yeah, I guess that would have been September or possibly October. I can't exactly remember. Full of the dipstick. But yeah, she's been sitting here since then. I'd planned on coming to do this back in early December, but if you guys remember, the whole family got rather sick there, so I didn't wasn't able to do it. Well, we finally made it here, but I'm gonna get this thing started up, or God, I hope so. Actually, I've got to.
turn on the battery. Switch. All right. Is that right? It seems like it's right. Okay. All right, let's see if she fires. Got the keys. <laughs> we were walking up, Jen's like, are you sure you had the keys? I was like, that was the one thing I was gonna make sure I brought with me. All right, fingers crossed, everybody. Oh yeah. Perfect. All right, guys, let me get this thing. Let me do a walkthrough, make sure everything's good. Oh, Fifi's like, what are we doing in there? The heat, yeah, that's what I, that's, that's what I'm gonna work on. But let me get this camera down and I wanna see if I can get some heat rolling in here because it is rather brisk. Well, we are in the bus, she is aired up. Hopefully gonna heat up here pretty soon because it's pretty chilly. Like I say, I've spent probably less than two hours in this bus since I've owned it. So trying to figure everything out is kind of where we are right now, but we are getting on the road. We've got about 1900, no, 19 and a half hours, about 1200, almost 1300 miles. So plenty of driving to do. So we want to make sure we get on the road, get as many miles covered day as we possibly can. We really don't have a destination in mind for the day yet, but we'll, we'll just have to see what, how it works out. Uh, we are going to head south or I guess southwest toward Oklahoma, go down to Oklahoma City and catch 40 across to Albuquerque. And then we will go Albuquerque down on uh, down 25. Theodore, you cannot do that right now to uh, I-10 over to Tucson. So it sounds a lot quicker and easier when you say it like that, but we all know we still got about a third of the country to drive, <laughs> if not more. So, anyways, onward. Hi. <laughs> Trying to figure out where the tank is. So it's a hundred. 92 gallons. Woo! We're about to spend some money. <laughs> I guess that's it. I don't know. I wonder how much it's going to let me get here at the pump. I don't know. I get, you hear that whining? I, think, I guess that's a um, probably an air, a valve to let air out, I'm assuming, I'm hoping. Oh, it's not a bomb. Oh, you guys are kidding me. So it only goes up to $75. Holy vey. I just may as well go inside and do this. All right, here we go. I had to prepay. I prepaid $500. Let's see what she takes. She'll probably take every bit of that and want more. Well, that wasn't too incredibly bad. $312.49 and 92 gallons. But I guess I did put in $75 before. So yeah, she was, she needed a little drink. <laughs> She's thirsty? Yeah. Woo, definitely not Blue Betty. I think Theodore has found home for the next couple of days. <laughs> he has been all over this bus looking for the perfect spot. I think he might've found it. Well, we just got fuel, it ended up taking, I don't know, you guys saw it, it was quite a bit, quite a freaking lot, more than I ever put in the Eagle, but. This should last us a couple of days, but um, I don't know. We're gonna drive for a while. I really don't know. It's gonna have to see how the how things go. We really have no reason to stop other than just because we want to stop. But we'll drive till we get tired and see where we end up. Because we don't have kids with us. We have no kids, one dog, but we're pretty tired. I think we're both kind of exhausted. It was a really, 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 really long day, and we're just coming off the holidays, so we're a bit tired. So we'll just have to see how it goes. <laughs> well, we didn't make it very far, not near as far as I had hoped. Um, I, I wasn't able to figure out how to get heat in the bus. So we braved it for about an hour, <laughs> which is nowhere near what I was hoping for. You didn't go longer than an hour? 
I don't know. We start. I don't know. Honestly, I don't know. This bus. I mean, I, I, there's a lot, I'm. I love this bus. It drives so good. But we were cold. It, it's it's nippy out here. Once when the sun was in the windshield, it wasn't bad. But as soon as the sun went behind the clouds, it got pretty chilly pretty quick. But now we're at the Holiday Inn in Miami, Oklahoma. It's actually our first time in Oklahoma. So this is another, we only have one state in the entire country we have not, in the lower 48 that we have not been to yet, and that's Nebraska. So Oklahoma is officially checked off the list. We got the bus parked up tight for the night. Pretty cool actually, this hotel has this lot here for semis and buses. So uh, it's actually gonna work out pretty good. Um, but we're cold, we're, we're tired, we've had an insanely long day. Um, but it's been a good day. I mean, overall, it was very difficult. You know, we had quite a bit of issues at the airport, um, as I, I covered a little bit with the service dog thing was kind of an issue. Um, so, but we got that sorted out. They were actually really great. Allegiant was really great about that. They were phenomenal. Yeah, they were awesome. And then TSA was a bit of a challenge. No, and then when we got on the plane, it was a bit of a challenge. But again, uh, Allegiant was great. Like, I, I would absolutely fly them again. They were awesome. Yeah, that, I was. I think we were both pretty pleased with... It definitely could have been much worse. We've had a couple really good Uber drivers today. So, all in all, not a bad day. We achieved our goal. We got to Missouri. We got the bus. And now we're in Oklahoma. But I know we're both cold. We're both tired. So, we were going to get in, checked into this hotel and chillax for a little bit. Mostly get out of the cold because it is freaking cold. We are 318, so I think we're this way. It's so warm in here. It feels so good. Oh my God, it was cold. So cold. Well, we, we were getting used to the cold and then we got to Florida and it was hot. Now, we're, we're, now, we're, now we're back in the cold. <laughs> All right. Lights. All right, well, before we get all situated, I'm gonna go ahead and give you guys the room tour. Okay, there's one. There's two. Okay, it's, it's well appointed. Yeah, Jen's uh, been toting around our uh, backpack uh, suitcase things. They're a bit heavy. I mean, they, they serve their purpose, but... They're not very ergonomical. Like, no. they just hurt your back. Yeah, they're... Yeah. <laughs> I you, don't... I'm not a fan. I can definitely tell they're a $50 backpack. And, like, it just... Oh, I got stuff pulling on me in the front. I got yeah. the backpack pulling on me in the back. Anyways, what is up with this blue, though? Like, that is a very, like... Whoa! Is that, like, an accent wall? You know, I think you gotta have a pop of color. All right. Me. And then we got the... Hopefully... Jen's hoping, yep, they got a tub. Does it have a tub? It's got a tub. Yes. Okay. I get naked and soaking in the tub. All right, I mean, it's, it's, it's exactly what I expected. Theodore seems to be pretty excited. <gasps> he's to be excited. Oh, he's always excited. All right, guys, I'm going to derobe. Oh, we got to show you the view, though. Like, is it a hotel room tour without the view? I mean, hopefully we can see the ball. I think we will be able to. Yes, there she is out there. I'm going to break out my Zoom. There she is out there. She's going to be spending the night out. Oh, she looks good from up here, don't she? Yeah, she does. But yeah, we are in Miami, Oklahoma. I don't know if you're able to read the sign down there that does say Miami, Oklahoma at the Holiday Inn Express. Well, our food options were pretty limited, so we ended up with some, my God, this camera is gonna be the death of me. We ended up with some Goodfellas Pizzeria, and we got us a, the Corleone, which is a five blend mix of cheese. And we also ordered a salad, but they forgot the salad, but the delivery driver is said he's gonna go pick it up and bring it back. So I got my window up, waiting, looking for him to pull back up. Yeah, I mean, I guess, you know, most, I guess a lot of delivery drivers would have said, yeah, sorry about your luck. All right, guys, I think that's going to wrap me up for today. Um, it's been a long day. We got a lot, we got a lot more of this coming. We got at least two more driving days, uh, and then who knows what else. Anyway, guys, hope you enjoyed it. I'm exhausted. I'm going to eat, get ready for bed, and uh, 
We'll see you guys here in a couple days. Take care of yourselves.